Okay, so various is it, it doesn't think with the Sebastian <laughs> says that um, we are presently dealing with. Then, um, abnormal mammo recently contraception years ago and arthritis. So surgical history. So these are the surgeries that, um, let's check that she has been, she has done so far in her life, which we know that it doesn't link with what we are doing, the sister. So we know code anything from here. Family history. Family history, no depression, relative, heart history, bypass surgeries. We just look through all this. Social history, tobacco. Tobacco, smartphone. Are you a, a smoker? The patient is a current smoker. So it's also very important that we could. Um, how many of, how often do you smoke cigarettes every day? And um, how soon after you wake up? So those are the questions that they ask um, at the either office, physician, place, or hospital. Okay, so are you interested in quitting, not ready to quit? Cigarette smokes, packs per day. All right, so all this is to let us know that. All this is to let us know that about how frequent the patient smokes. So patient has stopped smoking and has restarted. So they discuss quitting methods, wants, um, all these things. All right. Allergies, vital signs, assessments. With dermatology or any other specialty, assessment is very important because it confirms diagnosis. What the, after all these things, all the information, the subjective, the objective, Everything, this is what the physician thinks. So assessment, normally all our ICD-10 codes and sometimes even CPT codes. Sorry about that. Okay, so that's how the patients. Can you hear me, please? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, please, we can hear you. So the procedures, the procedures are here. Okay. Uh, the location we are we already even read about it, the lower matches, diagnosis, presumed cyst, the lesion size, very important, 22 mm, which is the same as 2.2 cm, additional margins taken, none. So total excise diameter, 22 mm, which is very important. Then the closure type. Remember that the patient is here for as we read previously, the, re, uh, the person is here for removal of a very bothersome cyst, which is excision. So let's take notice because we will we'll call that during CPT. Then the closure type, they are using intermediate linear closure. Mm -hmm. So that one too, we have to, uh, notice, we have to take notice of that and all that. Then the final repair length, 18 mm, okay. 
You see, all these things you have to identify because if you miss it, you will get it wrong. The excision diameter and the closure diameter. Okay. So I think we've identified everything that we want to. So please, who can now let's 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 go to our coding. I see the 10 CM codes. What are we um, looking for, please? What, what do you think um, we, we are looking for for dicity 10 CM? The main diagnosis. And uh, which is? What is the main diagnosis? Cyst. Okay, not just cyst. But okay, the cyst is the main term. That's main it. term. Yeah. Yes. So cyst. When we type cyst, we select. You know, we have lots of um, sub terms. So what, what cyst? Let's go back. What cyst are we looking for? Oh, yes. So, okay. So I choose to type and it will come, or you look through. So we have two options. Either you look through or you just type here. It will come. Then you select. That's it. So she came and said she's not around. So that's just gland. Which way? So I think this meeting is being recorded, so please let's be careful with our mic. Okay, so Sebastian says excludes. I think that's the only information that they give. And there's an image to help us know what that says. Okay, so there's Sebastian cyst. Mm -hmm. All right, so okay. If there's common language, which is like Google, you read it to know more. Since we are all students, we have to read everything. Okay, so you type your L72.3. Then you add or just type on uh, or click on enter. Is there any other uh, ICD 10 code that we identified? We are all learning, so just let's feel free. Uh, I think the location to the location of the cyst. Okay, so the location is very important, but we will. We'll, uh, factor that doing CPT. We are still on the diagnosis now. We are still on the diagnosis. Okay. But let me remind you. Or oh, is there any other with another uh, another option? Did did we identify any other thing that we can code? The right. smoking. Good, the smoking. So the person is a smoker, parent smoker, and the person smokes cigarettes. Yes. So you can't hear. If you type smoker, it will send you to see the dependence drug. Uh, is it nicotine or nicotine? Okay. So you just click on it. Okay, thank you. It, it will send you to F, F, sec, F, F sec, section, which they specify cigarettes. Okay, so there's the cigarettes. Okay, so F17.210. So the person is depending on cigarettes. Okay, so there's a common language that I was talking about. You read because we are all students so that you know more about it, okay? So F17.210. 
17, 17 so when typing, you have to be very careful. If you miss just a number, you are wrong. I think that's all for the diagnosis, right? Now let's go to the CPT. Like we read, the person is here for a session. Okay. So let me change the... Now uh, we have two ways of finding quotes. We, you, know, you realize that I've been using the index, but I don't know if you all know, we can also use the tabla. Okay, so because I use the index for the diagnosis, let's try it for CPT. Is that okay? Yes, please. Okay, let's let's try. So, existing. It's like you are searching something online, okay? When I, I said I didn't get what I was looking for. Okay, let me just type exhibition also. Okay, so when I search, I'm not, I'm not getting what I'm looking for here. That's one thing about um, Tabla. It's like you are searching on Google. And because I know that, um, we, you know, for quotes, it has to, the description has to tally. And I'm not finding anything here that tallies with excision of Sebastian cyst. So let's, let me use index. Remember to change the <clears throat> ICD-10 to CPT index because there is a procedure code that we are looking for. Okay, so it's a lesion, right? Mm -hmm. And and it's a benign. It's just a um, assist. The diagram that um, that was shown. It's not malignant, it's benign. So this is the set of codes, the options given. So let's click on the first one to see if it tallies with the code that we are looking for. Existing benign lesion, including margins, um, trunk. You know, the chest is the same as trunk. Are we aware? Are we aware of that? Yes. Yes. So arms or legs, everything so far shows, but when we come here, excise diameter 0 0.5 or less, it doesn't go with what we are looking for. The total excise diameter was 22 mm, which is the same as 2.2 cm. So you go back to that set of um, code, then you look for 2.2. You know, this 2.1 to 3 cm. 
So I think there's it. It's a existing benign lesion um, coming. Excise diameter 2.1 to 3. So there's the code that you type it here. 11403. Okay. Uh -huh. We nearly uh -huh. make sure you what you type is a talis with what you are looking for. You link now. After they excised, they, they, they did a closure, okay? And the closure type was intermediate. Okay, so this time around, let me try with the tabla two and see if this time around. Mm -hmm. Oh. So here is it, repair. So let's just choose any of this. We are looking for trunk. So uh, Okay, and the final repair length was 18, so it will be 1.8. So that's more than what you are looking for. So let's go back. Okay, so 2.5 cm or less, you know, it means that's what we are looking for. Repair intermediate, wounds of scalp, axillae, trunk, and or extremities. 2.5 cm or less. Then you, 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 you type it here. One, two, zero, three, one. Any questions so far? Okay. Now let's check something here. We've been seeing this RV. Okay. 376-319. Clearly, 376 is the greatest. So you maintain it here. But if the highest one was the second one, make sure that you use this option to bring it up. Okay. We use this one to uh, the number to arrange. So 376. 319, so it's well arranged, okay. Then you submit. Okay, so that's it. Now let's go to the walkthrough to help us. So the principal diagnosis, the assessment diagnosis, Sebastian says, L72.3, in order to correctly call the type of cysts and sites must be documented by the surgeon. So when you start working and the site is not documented, you query the physician, you ask him or her for the site. In this case, the surgeon documents a sebaceous cyst of the chest. So F70.210, dependent. Drug, like uh, nicotine. What do you say? How do you say they mention it? Is it nicotine? Nicotine. Yes, yeah, okay. nicotine. The documentation said that the patient is the carrying smoke of cigarettes every day. So remember that the term, you know, I just typed smoker and it sent me to the dependence drug nicotine represented by the appropriate code from the F. 17.21. Then you choose if it is a cigarette, you know, they give us the so they choose the correct sample. Now let's go to the procedure codes. 
the principal procedure is 114031 for the trunk, excise diameter 2.2. Okay. For the right 22, now you have to close it to the CM in order because the code size the complete code and excision of a benign lesion must include the size of the lesion and the exercise diameter of the lesion excise. In this case, the lesion excise was of the lower mid chest. And the excise diameter is 2.2 cm. That's 22 mm. The secondary procedure is 12031. And it's a the weapon of the excision site of lower mid chest. So the correct coding is determined based upon the size and size of the repair. So in this case, the surgeon document the length of the repair is 1.8 cm, which is 80 mm. 80 years Brothers and sisters, that's how we code a scenario. You, for you to be a successful coder, you must love reading. You have to read every word. You know, when you go to uh, ENM, which is uh, specialties, family practice, and internal medicine, you realize that even the, the age is important. The gender, yes, the gender when you go to uh, Ghana, the specialty Ghana College, you see that even the gender is important. So please, when we get the reports, let's make sure we read everything. And you have to be observant too. When you start internship, don't, don't, don't feel that it's too difficult. I mean, the more you practice, that's how best to gain experience. So now that we are working together, like I said in Italy, as you are coding any scenario that you identify and you, you feel that you are having a challenge, just inbox me with that so that I'll help you to understand it very well. Please, any question, any comment, anything? It's so please, okay. Yeah, I just want to ask a question. Okay. So when you are coding, can you code uh, maybe a diagnosis from the, the patient's history? Can you find a main diagnosis from a patient history? Sometimes. Example is, um, um, let, let me try and see. I will not remember the particular scenario. Mm. I want to see if, if, if I will see some. Because let's take, for example, some of these uh, chronic yes. uh, the history, okay, let, let, like yes, example, is, yes, and diabetes, and diabetes, okay, yeah, so, anxiety the person, disorder, yes. and then those. Okay. So, the person, but there are scenarios in the intention. I wanted to find a specific one, but I'm not finding it. So, example, the, the patient came in with pain in the leg, okay. But mm. under the patient's history, they realize that the patient has diabetes and is even on medication. So yeah. your principal diagnosis will be the pain in the leg, okay? Whether left mm. or right leg. But you have to type or you have to code the diabetes too because it's still, um, the patient still has diabetes. Though that's not the reason the patient came to the physician, okay. but because it's a present condition, you have to code it. And you know, with diabetes, so you have to code the medication. If it is insulin or oral medication, you have to code it. So that's it. Some 
same applies to hypertension and all that. Mm -hmm. And also, yes, yes. So, Any other question? Okay. My next question is, how do you find the modifier in the find the code? Okay, let me try. So this is how you find a modifier. Did I go too fast? Oh, it's cool. Okay, so you come to Tabla. Then you go to ACPCS. Okay. Then you type, uh, is it some 25? Yes. So you have you have your you have your modifier here. Uh, please, any other question? I think our major challenge is identifying the, the diagnosis and yes. the, the, the CPT. That's it. To, to code. Yeah. yeah. And it comes with experience. You have to okay. type, type um, you have to code code. Let me let me go back to this scenario. Um, the one we coded, was it one? It was one, yeah. Okay, let me, I, I don't know. There's a place that you find. I wanted to show you that there's a particular scenario that I've coded for more than 10 times. Because, um, you know, when we finished, they were still planning, they were still, uh, they were still in the planning process. So they asked us to wait. And as we're waiting, we're coding, 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 coding. So, Though I finished internship in um, January, I was able to write the exams in May. So all this why I have to code, 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 code. And you know, when you start, you might be getting zero, one percent, uh, two percent. Oh. <laughs> don't, don't feel discouraged or frustrated. Okay. Yes, never feel discouraged. It's, it's, a, it's a one thing about internship that I will say is, Concentrate on understanding okay. rather than the scores, yes. The more you practice, you understand, you realize that your scores automatically increases. So you see that by the time you are coding it the fifth time, you, you because you understand, then you'll be getting the perfect scores that you want. So don't, don't concentrate so much on the scores. Concentrate on uh, understanding, yes. So what um, those I tutor, what they do is, there's all dermatology scenario five or cardiology scenario three. Um, why they challenge the codes. Why did they code? Why did they use this code instead of this, you know? And when I get such questions, I'm very happy because it shows that they are learning or they are aiming for understanding, okay? So that's how, how you, then sometimes I will try to, or I will try to let them know oh, there's the reason, oh, there's the reason, and then they understand all comes to most. The next time that the person meets a similar uh, scenario, the person understands, so the person who code with no, um, no challenge now. So that's it. So don't, don't be frustrated by the scores. When, in fact, when you start, they even tell you, when you start cardiology, or when you, they said with practice, you'll be fine. So 
Don't worry. Don't worry about that. And the coding guidelines are many. There are lots, yes. So you might not remember everything, but as you are coding, you are coding and you challenge some of, the, some of the codes, then your tutor will explain to you, then you, you remember some of the guide. Oh, okay, yes. So that's it. That's it. Don't give up. When you want to know where the I see the term quotes are. Yes. Remember the assessments. Mm. Santa, and also when you go to general surgery, you see that oh, post-operative diagnosis. Yes, we have pre-operative diagnosis. We have post-operative or post-procedure diagnosis. You use the post. Okay. Yeah. So mm. those are okay. Those are the areas that you figure out. Oh, this this is the principal diagnosis that I'm looking for and all that. Any other question, please? Because I think it's 40 minutes. So you said mostly with the CPT code, when you are reading through the scenario, you say you pay attention to the to the, to the measurement of whatever yes. in terms of yes uh, if the, the measurement they are giving yes um, especially the dermatology because okay. yeah the excision where you where you come to. You see, they have measurements, so. You see the measurements. Yes, 2.5 cm or less. Oh, yes. 2.3, yes. So all these things, you have to pay attention to it. If you miss, if it's supposed to be 12001 and you choose 12002, you know you are wrong. Yeah. Yes, so you have to pay attention to the measurements. You see the measurements here? Yes, please. Close your line. Yes, you have to be very careful about it. <clears throat> okay, so is there any other question? All right, then yeah. I think we'll end here and just keep practicing. And like I have re repeated, don't, I'm always open for you. Inbox me with your concern. Just mention the scenario number so that we discuss eh? let's question some of the quotes why did they okay. choose this code uh -huh. so that you get the understanding and uh, you get okay. the very uh -huh. yes please uh -huh. thank, thank you, you very so much, much. Yeah. Yeah, really thank you too thank you have a blessed uh -huh. evening all right you too thank bye. you bye bye, bye. Ah. Uh. I'm sorry, you saw the next week was the visual basic documents. <laughs>